My house was haunted or haunted? Haunted. Okay. Thanks, but oh. I made it pages. I fixed how'd you, it. How'd you do it? It was under file page setup. Okay. Gotcha. I clicked a whole bunch of things before I found it, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the first place I looked. Matt, I've been watching Supernatural, that series. Of so course. this is top of mind for me, you know, right. the things that you can't see that are hanging out with you. Yeah, I might. I honestly probably wouldn't. I'd probably just move if I actually <laughs> thought I had most. Right. I, I say I would like, ah, yeah, it'd be fine. But eh, would it? I'd be like, house for sale. And I wouldn't say anything to the next people who bought it. <laughs> <laughs> As some people might seek that out. I don't know. Maybe so. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. Um, I have, well, I'll share my screen here. So relatively short, um, meeting today, um, cause I didn't do my action item. Well, I was supposed to do, I had been doing many, many, many other things. We've got a lot of meetings beating, booting up this week. So yeah, <laughs> chaos, chaos con has been keeping me <clears throat> very busy. So um, so I, I, one of the proposals that came up last year was to rename this working group to the metrics development working group. I put that in Slack as well. And Don, you had kind of plus one bit in Slack. And the rationale is just to provide clarity on what it is that we really need to do in this working group. Um, we can obviously do slightly other things, but I think the signal is a little bit better for external folks as well. I don't think common is very obvious for people. Agree. Um, so I just have you know, a thumbs up and a yes in Slack. I'm curious what Elizabeth and Kevin think of such a proposal. Plus one. Okay. Kevin. Yeah, common just doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't keep, it doesn't signal what we're doing at all. You're right. Kevin, yeah. It's outlived its name. Okay. It's, it's evolved past and, and into something into something new and needs a new name. From value to common to metrics. <laughs> From the Boston Braves I, to the Milwaukee Braves to the Atlanta Braves. It's, we actually have value and common existed <laughs> in parallel. I think value merged into common. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, cause we had, the thing was we had, we had value, we had risk, we had evolution a lot. Have, I think there was yeah. one other. So common was where we did metrics that didn't fit into any one of those you are things. Correct. Okay. So Kevin, did you have any comments? Chat? Nothing. I, I put a plus one in there. I was I was gonna say something, but I, I muted. Oh, okay. Well, I got your comment there. Okay. Okay. So I just I think we need there's just like some. AI to like, you know, like rename these things, <laughs> like just kind of go through and uh, adjust. I can take that action item. Of the naming. Because I okay. know where it would, I think I know where all it would show up. Okay. <laughs> A lot of places, yeah. but yeah, I can. And I can we'll find it as it appears over time. Um, yeah, obviously it's like the doc, Slack, repo, stuff like that. Um, probably announce website or governance doc. Yep. Can um, we change that government stock without uh, putting it in front of the board? I think so. I think, so. I think group, that's no. The working group names are not in the governance doc. Yeah, I think okay. we were smart about as, that. We were. <laughs> it may have been in as an example. Um, we should search the governance governance doc. If it's yeah, an like example, we, we can probably change that without voting on it. Everything else, anything we change in that doc has to be voted on by the board. Yeah, and I, I know we've tried over the years to keep things that change a lot out of the governance doc. I tried really hard to yeah. keep my change out of that doc. Okay, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I 
Okay. Uh, great. Uh, these are all the things that I didn't do because I think we need to do this. This might be a very short meeting. <laughs> so I think if we're going to talk about metrics or metrics models, I think we need to get a, a sense of what's before us. And um, I know we have the spreadsheet, but I just, I haven't like really made sure that's aligned with things that have come out of conversations from different context groups or um, uh, just different working groups altogether. So I just, I need to do this. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, also, there are metrics that have been on there as ideas for literal years. And I don't know if we want to put an expiration date on some of those or make a decision on them. Um, yeah. just leave them. I don't know, but I feel like that would be up to this group to decide. You're talking about this. Yeah, like consider it. Like we've had some of these literally for you for since I started. At, I agree. It's 2020. So I mean, it, it's not really hurting anything to have them on here, but it, it does seem like we should decide to move them forward or decide yeah. that that's not something that we want to uh, pursue. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of leaving them because none of them are metrics that we don't want to develop. I think, I think what we should do instead is maybe have a better push for getting help with metrics definitions. I think as part of like common being named weirdly and shutting down the other metrics definition working groups, I think people have sort of lost, I don't know, gotten lost somewhere along the path. And, and we don't really have people working on developing metrics. And I feel like that's one of the most accessible things that people can do within the community. And so I would, I would love to get people excited about developing metrics. And having a list of like, you know, here are the, maybe maybe we pick 10 that we'd like to start with and try to get people to volunteer to, to help us develop those metrics in this meeting, that might be, mm -hmm. might be helpful. I think that'd be great. Um, I mean, in, in any of these like tabs across the bottom, to your point, when they were like running groups, you recall we'd spend like 30 minutes in the meeting, mm -hmm. like just developing the metric, whatever yeah. that metric might be and we uh, yeah. still have loads of metrics that are even implemented in the software that have just never we've never bothered to define yeah. i mean there's there's loads of stuff that we really really should define and i feel like a lot of these considerate considering ones probably fall into that category kevin i think we were talking over each other sorry about that oh that's all right i uh um uh... I was going to say I agree. I agree with everything you were saying there. Uh, I'd, I'd love to see more metrics work. It doesn't seem like we're we're doing a whole lot of that right now. Uh, in regards to the list, I like I like keeping it, uh, but I think we should talk about how we prioritize the work, and that the priority priority for me in metrics definition would be what you just mentioned. If it's being implemented in software, if it comes from the OSPO group where the OSPO group has requested we work on it or if the metric is needed for a metrics model. I think I think those should be our priorities. Uh, and my guess is that that's, that's a whole bucket of metrics to work on anyway. Uh, Say that list again, Kevin. So like a context group. If it come, if the context group requests that we work on a metric or, or define okay. a metric, by for example, if the OSPO working yeah. group asks us to, Comes if someone comes into that OSPO working group saying, "Hey, I would be nice if we had this metric. Could we work on it, or could we talk about it?" Yep. I mean, we take that. We could turn it into a metric. Okay. Uh, if it is being implemented in software, oh, right? Okay, that was the one I missed. Yeah, and then and then the other one is if it's being if it's implemented or needed in a metrics model. Okay. Do we, is there a priority for any of these that are kind of in progress that have existing Google Docs? I think we need to create a spreadsheet to track that actually. Isn't uh, this a spreadsheet? I don't mean to be pedantic. <laughs> what do you mean, Kevin? Uh, well, and it, if we want to use this spreadsheet to track that, then I think we need to add more 
detail to it to for prioritization. Oh, we could. Uh, I was wondering. So I was just asking, like, on the list that you that you have here. I agree with these. You know what I mean. But like, okay. should there be? And I don't care if the answer is no. Well, I think we do need we do need a way of tracking and prioritizing that. So if if it's this if it's this spreadsheet that we have now, we need to add more detail. If it's not this spreadsheet, then we need to create that spreadsheet uh, with some sort of way of. Uh, capturing these metrics and prioritizing them. Yep. And I, I can do that here, but I, my question is like stakeholder influence is a metric that lived at some point, <laughs> like somebody, somebody put this together and it may not be part of a metric model. It may not have come out of one of the context working groups and it, whatever, it may not be implemented in software, but somebody, somebody started it and we have a start on it. Like, should we consider that as a priority or no? Is that not enough? To... I would, I would say no. Okay. Not a, not a priority. And unless by chance it happens to be one of the other three. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, in my opinion, it's not a priority unless it happens to be one of those three. What do, what do so. other people think? I feel sad for these yellow oh. lines <laughs> or these yellow fruit. Yeah, I, I suppose I'm, if there's a, subst any, any for anything, I mean, it would be, somewhere it would be good to keep track of the ideas we had, but it would be good to declutter this spreadsheet at the same time. I mean, I could move the, like, <laughs> you know, I look at something like emoji reactions. Like, and this think, is yeah. not, I prom I'm pretty sure this didn't come from any of the context working groups. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it uh corporate it, OSPO. No, that, that came game. from Georg like four right. probably four years ago. And I'm pretty sure it's not part of a metric model. Nope. I'm pretty sure this has not been implemented in a piece of software. Actually, we actually, I think Remore Lab has implemented oh. it. Okay. Uh, as a part of a yeah. bigger metric, I think, of just like reactions in general to signal attention, I think, okay. if I and, recall. And also some some projects use this as for voting um, emoji reactions. Okay. So thumbs up or thumbs down on oh, yeah. a decision. <laughs> so they create an issue to make a decision and people give thumbs up, thumbs down Fair. on it. So it's actually, it's it sounds- Silly. It sounds superficial and silly, but <laughs> I actually, I actually think it's pretty a pretty valid metric. <laughs> no, I think so. I think so too. It's it's, and I think it's one worth carrying forward. Well, okay, and where well, where there is a document, we should probably keep it in a more active space than where there isn't. Like, well, maybe. Can, and I think we could move the considering ones to like one page. <laughs> that one is also related <laughs> to sentiment analysis, by the way. The, the emoji one, emoji reaction. So, yeah. it, correct. So I, I agree. It's it's an important one. I think we we stumbled on it. And I think we were trying to, we were trying to get some outside expertise in to talk about it, and that's kind of where we stalled. Okay. Uh, with that one, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not saying get rid of them. I think we should keep them, document these these metrics, uh, and keep them. Just they're just not the priority. We we just don't prioritize them until until they match one of those three prior things. Okay. But I think we. I definitely think we should keep them. Oh I yeah. Wonder... Su suggesting uh, removing them. Yeah, sorry. I no. wonder if we can get a maybe a project manager or somebody who has some extra time to go through all of these documents and you can look through the revision history or possibly the sharing and generally figure out who has worked on it and maybe reach out to those people to see if they're interested in continuing with it. It might be a good way to re-engage someone who got partway through and for whatever reason didn't didn't finish it it might be a good way to yeah i agree um bring some of these people back to developing metrics and it, if nothing else it's it's low hanging fruit i agree with i agree with kevin it's not necessarily a priority but it can't hurt to reach out to the people who've started these and see if they want to keep going i also like sean's idea of pulling out the ones that are in progress and being actively worked on into an like another tab instead of having them distributed throughout the like, working groups that no longer exist, like putting them all in a tab True. that just is active, active metric. I like that idea a lot. So I just want plus one that. Okay. 
Um, what did you think about Dawn's comment about a project manager that would help kind of, it's honestly, it's kind of helping with some of the things I didn't do as well, like the histories of the metrics and the metrics models. I think that would be helpful um, to just help us prioritize and um, have a better handle on kind of what's out there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So there's a project manager meeting on Monday. Um, right now it's just myself, Peculiar, and Yiga, but uh, we can, I can certainly bring this up and see if either of them have an interest in kind of joining this group on a more regular basis and just kind of being the one that wrangles. Okay. That's what we, we want. Yeah, I think it is. I think we just need to um, filter through <laughs> what we have in front of us and I'm kind of, I'm I'm with Kevin and I think Don folks on this that like we definitely keep them, but at some point we do just need to create a priority set that we work on because if everything ends up being a priority, we're just gonna end up with all the metrics again. <laughs> we're not really gonna get too far. Yeah, no, I like keep the inventory, but it's on the side somewhere. Yeah, Here, is that, sort is of that project right. management working group? Is that I thought that went away. It did. Just literally today, we um, I brought it up because I just want to touch base with them. Mostly it was about the onboarding courses because that's wow. like the project that's kind of we're working on, but there was a break, you know, for the holidays. I just wanted to like reset everything and just kind of touch base with them. So I just posted okay. it in Project Manager Channel literally today. That's that's a meeting I would go to if it was scheduled. I think the reason I, I haven't been going is because it was, uh, it was conflicting, but... Yeah, if it's, we, if it's on the schedule, I would try to go to that. It It is. It's at 10 a.m. Central. Oh, sorry. 10 a.m. Uh, nine. Wait, hold on. I'm on the wrong day. What's today? Hmm. It's at 11 a.m. U.S. Central on Monday. And it's just an ad hoc meeting. So we can certainly change that, Kevin. Oh, it, OK. So it's not posted anywhere. It's on the chaos calendar. Yeah, but. Huh. that's not being pulled down for me. Huh, weird. Maybe I've screwed it up. I, I see it on the chaos calendar. On January 22nd? Yes. Oh, weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take hey, it. What's up, Vinod? Hello, sorry for late. Uh, you know, I'm coming out from the class and at the end of class, all the students and their queries. So they always have questions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really students. Who even needs them? Right? Like please, please. <laughs> as the whole business model, but yeah, agreed. So Vinad, welcome to the metrics working group. We've re renamed it. Okay. So what is the name now? Metrics. Metrics. <laughs> That's you it. realize you realize we're gonna have to uh is change the name of our repository to uh to metrics yeah i know and we archived that one a long <laughs> <Right>. time ago <laughs> oh, that's super that's super funny that we come back to it oh, circle, yeah. yeah should should i just unarch well no how do we what's that's going to conflict with it right how would that I mean, work we, well it's archived I, I don't know we could rename so, the old one like metrics underscore old uh is this going to break every link on the website then i'm assuming sure. No, oh yeah, it shouldn't. Hopefully it does. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, I can I can go in and put in a uh, a redirect actually. So uh maybe when uh when that change starts to happen on the website and GitHub, uh let me know, Elizabeth, and I'll go in and I'll I'll write a redirect on the website so the uh uh the URLs will just redirect to the, the new link. I mean, in theory, they they should be okay because we're using the stable URLs, right? But yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, correct. Yeah, we should be using the, but just in case I can do that, so. Okay, cool. Okay, um, very helpful. So it sounds like at least the idea is to take, kind of clean up this tab set here that's more representative of what we're currently doing. We also have a lot of tabs that kind of showed up that I'm gonna clean up as well. 
Um, mm -hmm. Does any, we have this metrics audit page, which is a link to all of our currently deployed metrics. I had started this to try to kind of just go through, you remember we had some template yeah. issues on the metrics just because some of them were old and they weren't in a new template. Would anybody have an interest in kind of working their way not, you don't have to get to the end, but even just like 10 of these to can kind of continue this process. So all you have to do is just click that, make sure that it follows the new template and it includes keywords and context tags. Yeah, I can do the 10. Just 10, yeah, yes. 10 at a time. Okay, <laughs> that you. is doable. <laughs> Instead of all of them. That's, that's part of the normal spreadsheet? It is. It's okay. Under metrics audit. I'll try to knock out a, uh, a few as well. Oh, thanks, Kevin. Um, okay. Okay, great. Thank you, Kevin and Vinod. Mm -hmm. Um, so I should, uh, I yeah. should point out on that, uh, so the, I think this, the template mm -hmm. changed. Oh, so the, Okay, so the the, the yeah, keywords yeah. context tags are at the bottom of the page now. They're not actually part of the template. E, okay, so okay. what's the what's the impact of that on this? So it uh, is just the tags now. I see just only tags as as the on the web page, not the keywords. And yeah, did we get rid? Did we get rid of the context tags? So it's only just here. The, yeah. Okay. So just maybe we rename the column as a tags. Will be helpful. Okay. Thanks. Fair. Okay. All right. So, um, so we've got Elizabeth is going to kind of take a look at the renaming. I'm going to start to kind of rework the spreadsheet oh. so that it is in more in line with kind of how we do work. Kevin and Vinod are going to take a look at some of the metrics audit. Sean mm -hmm. or Don, was there anything that you wanted to do? It sounds like we're kind of doing mm -hmm. cleanup mm -hmm. mode at the moment before we go like making new <laughs> new metrics. Or metrics model. It's not like we just need a little bit of organizational work. Is there anything that you're seeing? I mean, I be done? I could cert do. I could certainly tidy working groups that I was part of. You know, like risk and evolution. Okay. That'd be if, helpful. If, if, uh, and did did we? I can't. Where do I put the things that should just be put somewhere else? So, are there two different places for the ideas? versus the ones that are partially developed. Uh, hold on a second. So you would you would identify metrics that aren't listed but discussed. Well, yeah. Well that yeah. are listed. So there's there's are listed here. Yeah, there's there's basically things that I mean the way I see it is the there's things that are listed but have no work with them that we could just put somewhere in a bucket. And things that may have some work that are worth keep just worth keeping references to that work, so that we don't lose the. I can I'll links. do that because I can <clears throat> I can just do that here in the spreadsheet. Okay. To clean this up, I think one of the things that needs to happen is like 
just going back, you know how like um yesterday in the was it the uh school working group? Where did Sophia bring up the interest in tagging? Uh, that, that was, was in the data science work. Data group. science, yep. And so like that was an archive mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. risk that right. seemed to have some importance, but kind of got lost over time. And so the I think the thought here is to go back into like the risk and evolution working group, for example. Yeah. The minutes and just kind of take a look, just a quick scan. And like, were there conversations around metrics or metrics models that just never got captured anywhere? Okay. Like y'all talked about it. So like, if I look at risk, um, Okay, so the task is to, in any case where something has been discussed, but there is no reference, to simply create a reference yes. in a form of a Google Doc. Or or you could create a reference <laughs> here even. Yeah, depending how extensive it is, right? Yeah, yeah, but try to try to pull out like, mm -hmm. you know, two or three of those key things that okay. might have been missed. Yeah. I'm just walking over to my task board. Uh, Matt, I don't have access to the uh, sheet. I, I can only view it. So I'll this send a request. That's a odd. It's public on the web. Oh. The view <laughs> only. There. Now you're done. Okay. Seems weird because I feel like we've all been able to edit this. <laughs> so why it would roll back, I have no idea. Don't don't share that link on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also noticed somebody somebody at some point changed the font here to like Comic Sans. It was not me. Yeah, that's I, great. I noticed that, that earlier. That was I not me. It. I thought maybe it was like, I don't know a statement. <laughs> maybe that's why I reverted it to view only. I was like, oh. uh, <laughs> yeah. whoever did that. That's where Matt draws the line. Messing uh, with the fonts. Comic <laughs> Sans. The oh, comic so sans feels like that feels like <laughs> taunting. Like in the NFL, that would be a 15 yard penalty uh, administered on kickoff. So, okay. So, Sean, to identify metrics that aren't captured, metrics and models. Basically, capture discussions in the spreadsheet or another document, depending on the scale of the discussion. Yeah, two to three. In I, the I, spreadsheet. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> risk and evolution. I mean, my, my approach is simply going to be to search for keywords in the historical minutes of those working yeah. groups. I do not intend to read a hundred pages of no, 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 working no. group minutes. Well, and like you, like you said, you've been in those. <clears throat> yeah. You'll look at the minutes and be like, oh, I remember. Like it's, it's great. I'll look at the list and remember if there's a discussion probably in most cases. Yeah. You will. And it's pretty quick to go through some yeah. of those things. Um, Don, was there anything that you were interested in kind of taking a look at? No. No, not interested in. Wouldn't say oh, I'm interested. Not, not right now with with FOSDEM Chaos Con and the work on the insight <laughs> guides. I feel like I'm a little under yeah. okay. underwater. That's yeah, fine. To be honest, this is something I view I can I can do over a beer in the evening while I'm watching a movie. Yeah, right. <laughs> And so, okay, that'd be great, Sean. That would, because I think if, if we can kind of get all of these things done, you know, we're not going to meet for a month yep. <laughs> just because we're in positive <laughs> Um, If we could start kind of getting this done with Kevin and Vinod taking a look at some of the audit stuff, um, Elizabeth taking a look at some of the renaming stuff, and then Sean and myself kind of going back through here. Elizabeth, I'd put a hold on asking community managers at this point, maybe if we could kind of organize it a little bit first so that it's not like join and then we just kind of start messing things up all the time. So. Okay, this sounds good. Um, well, in that case too, I'm, I'm not even gonna talk about this ongoing work from the metrics and app ecosystem working group, um, simply because I think this kind of falls into the category of let's get our- House like, in order get the house in order first before we just go in and, and start developing new metrics and metrics models. So yeah, 
that would be my recommendation. People okay with that? Yeah. You yes. Okay, cool. Anything else from anybody? Nope. Nothing. All good. All right. Let's call it a day then. All right. On catch, this one. catch many of you later. All right. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Bye. See ya.